Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna read if I ran for president. So, this story is about a boy and some girls who wants to be president and they say stuff about what will they do when they're president. So, let's get reading. Arthur is Catherine Sider's sister, illustrated by Lauren Avril. If I ran for president, there are some people that want to be president. There's Ben, who's in the front right here. And then we have Clary and Ally. Marco and Sam and Ashley. So let's get started. You can read it and stop it and read it. So let's get started. It would be great to run for president of the United States. If I ran for president, I hope the people of the United States would choose me for a very important job. The job of leading our country. And I hope to follow in the footsteps of past presidents such as George Washington, our friend, our first president, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roth Savalent and Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. I'll have to think carefully about my decision to run for president. I will want to know how my family felt about it too. Then I ask myself, myself, um. I the best person for the job? Am I really? To, am I ready to work very, very, very hard for my country? Do lots of people believe in me, and will they help me run for for office? If I could answer yes to all those questions, they then I'll declare my can. Daisy, that means I I'll announce I was interested in the job of President of the United States. If I ran for president, I'll run a campaign to let voters learn all about me. People who thought I would be a good president would donate money or time to help. I'll hire people to work on my campaign too. Campaigns can make a candidate famous. Soon, my name or face would appear on signs, buttons, bumper stickers, and t-shirts. I'll even start a TV commercials. If I ran for president, I'll work with my po political party. That's a group of people who share the same benefits about how how the country should be governed. They support candidates who uphold those ideas. The two major parties are the Democratic Party. Their symbol is a donkey and the, Re and the Rebellion Party. Their symbol is an elephant. There are other parties called to call third parties, but people beside me want to be president. 
they were brokenness and demo crafted for they must choose one they support in the election. In some states like Owa, the parties each hold called Kakuas, where members pick their favorite candidate. In most states, party, party members hold an election called a primary. Cuckoos and primaries show which candidate are popular with voters and who might have the best change of being elected president. The first primary is held is held in New Hampshire. In the winter, before the president election, I'll be sure to visit there. I'll have to bundle up. In the summer before the election, the political parties announced their candidate for president. The mayor parties made this announcement a meeting called conversions. Each day sends delegates to the convention. Delegates vote for the candidate who is the most popular in their state. A convention looks like a big celebration full of cheering and chanting balloons and confetti. Millions of Americans watch the assignment on TV. By the time of the convention, everyone usually knows which candidate will be choose, but the dele delegates still hold a vote. If my party choose me to run for president, I will make a speech to get everyone excited about helping me win. I will tell the American people about my platform, my plans, and ideas for our country. My running mate will make a speech too. That's the person who will be my, my vice president if I become president. If I run for president, I will be invited to debate with other presidential candidates. A person called a moderator would ask us questions. People across the city would listen carefully to our answers. Reporters would ask me questions too about my life, my son, my family, even my kitty, Stacy. They'll print all photos of me in newspapers and magazines, like the snapshot of me in my superhero costume or my baby picture when I still wore diapers. Vote for Clary. If I ran for president, I would travel the country to meet lots of people. I'll have my own campaign bus where I'll plan to take me from place to place. Inside, there will be comfy seats, perfect for checking out the news, writing speeches, and thinking about how to solve nation's problems. I'll take naps too. I'll need the extra rest. I'll work hard and be very busy, all in one week. I might share zero week cut. Kindergartens in California. Crunch corns with farmers in Kansas. And have dinner in Delaware, where I ordered the blue plate special with apple pie and a large strawberry milkshake. After all that food, I might not feel too well. Still, I have to smile and talk with the people I met. 
presidential candidates make lots of speeches, shake hands, and cuddle babies. Finally, in November, election day would arrive. If I ran for president, I'll be nervous and excited. On election day, millions of voters from across the country go to their polling places to cast their ballots. There are not a way to say that they vote. In our country, people vote in private. No one, but you know how you vote. But I know I'll choose my favorite candidate, me. Once the voting is finished, officials count up the ballots when then comes the announcement on television, radio, in the newspapers, and on the internet. People ever find out who will be the next president of the United States. I'll stay alone and keep my fingers crossed. If I ran for president and lost, the people who worked so hard on my campaign would be disappointed. I'll be disappointed too. Still, I'll be proud that I've taken part in a free and fair election. I'll make a cell phone call to offer my best wishes and my support to the winner. Uh, winner. Our next president, but if I won, wow! On January 20, I say the words of the oath of office and be sworn in as president. On that day, my own day, there will be a parade and a fancy ball. Then I move into the White House in Washington, D.C. to begin our four-year term as the President of the United States of America. And that would, that, and what would I do when I become President? Well, that's another story. Have you, have, you, have you been fun reading this? Then tell me in the comment section if what would you do if you were president. And I'll see you next time. Bye.